Hi everybody, welcome to uh, another Geo Geeks and Cars going for coffee. Uh, this is a special uh, edition. I'm uh, I'm rolling solo today. Thought I'd offer up a um, some of interest to you uh, marketing folks and small business owners. A uh, little PR tip. So let's talk about press releases. Um, I've been in the press and media. Uh, game for about 16 years now, so it's something I know a little bit about, and I want to share with you uh, just some of the questions that I get asked. So, so people are often wondering, like, okay, Glenn, um, PR, why should I do it, or even should I, should I do it? And I gotta say, you know, if, so if you own a company or you're a marketing person for a company, yes, press is important. That's uh, that's actually where I get a lot of my tips from. Um, you know for how I write articles or blog posts or you know for what I share on social media so yeah uh, there's nothing wrong with building a list of PR folks or uh, media folks to send your press to please include me I don't mind if you shoot me email press at gisuser.com always works and most of the other publications they'll have a dedicated email address where you can shoot your news. A couple of them don't, and they have like online uh, pages where you have to submit your press. I, I think those are a bit of a joke, and they're uh, you know they're blocking people essentially. So uh, that's just my opinion. So build yourself a list of uh, media folks and publications that you contact uh, to share your press with. In the GIS space, we're pretty niche. There's about a dozen of the main you know key publications. You want to reach out to them all. Find out who the press contact is and who you should send your, your news to. Build an email list. You know, take an hour to find all that. And uh, great. They'll love it for you. So then when you create your press, um, I suggest creating it in multiple formats. Yeah, you might want PDF, uh, a Word doc, simple text. Myself, if you're, if you're sending out your press by email, Send an email, include, you know, what the news is about. Put a little personal blurb, okay? You know, welcome, I hope you, you know, you enjoy our news, yeah, yada, yada, yada. This is what it's about. Give the skinny. Um, and then provide a hyperlink as to where the PR can be found online. I'm sure it can either be found on your website or on a newswire somewhere. That's always great to share. If you want, copy and paste the entire contents of the PR release into the body of the email. That's always a really friendly thing to do. And that way it strips out all, uh, any funky uh, formatting too. So keeping it simple is always best. The other thing you might want to, a lot of people like to include a, uh, actually um, send an attachment of uh, a Word document. Um, that works great too. Please do not send PDFs. A PDF press release is just a nightmare trust me the formatting gets garbled it <laughs> if you follow me on twitter everybody knows my feeling about pdfs now don't get me wrong i love pdf maps that stuff's great pdf for press releases um no please don't bother i just delete them so build your pr uh, contact list uh, create your press release i actually have a number of uh online articles that help to uh, create, you know, 10 things that you want to include in your press release, that kind of thing. Check out my LinkedIn profile. I've got links to articles um, about that topic. And also online at GIS User, if you search press release, um, you could find a few of those archi uh, archived articles there. Uh, let me see. So finally, um, press. Some people, I hear people say, well, we don't really have much to talk about. We don't have news to share. Well. If you've been in business for some time, you definitely have something you can share. Some of the things that you could write a press release about and that I love hearing about, um, a, key, a new hire is press worthy. Uh, maybe you have a uh, executive who has achieved a milestone like 25 years in the company or um, they've um, gotten a new certification, that's fine. You probably attend events and you know exhibit or present at events. Again, that's a great topic for a PR release. And then there's product and service information. If you've added new services, um, or maybe you've um, rolled out a new software release, uh, some new functionality to your offerings, definitely press worthy. Look around a little, I'm sure that there's stuff that you can uh, create news about. Finally, be sure to uh, post your press release on your own website um, and or use a newswire service. There's business wire, PR newswire, that stuff, 
they're expensive, like 500 bucks to submit your PR to them, and then they shoot it out to the world. Um, that works great for big companies, and I'll warn you, it's expensive. But there are free newswire services that that work well too, and they're a great place to create an account and archive all your press. So I hope you find that useful. Um, next time you issue press, tweet it and mention at GIS user. That gets my attention and I'll pick up on your news. Um, or email it to me, press at GISuser.com. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and uh, go Broncos.